gold was discovered here. And you've heard the saying, there's gold in them thar hills. Well, them thar hills is all those hills right over there. Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel, Wayne's World Tour. What are we gonna talk about today? Well, today we're gonna to talk about episode eight of my journey to the Arctic Circle. On this day, I left CarMax in the Yukon. I stayed at a nice little Airbnb uh, that night, and I left there in the morning and I headed for Dawson City. Now, Dawson City is this famous gold rush town, and it's also my jumping off point before I take the Dempster Highway up to the Arctic Circle. There wasn't a whole lot of great scenery along the way. It was, it was pretty. There were a couple of rivers we went across and uh, some bridges and some small towns for getting gas and that sort of thing, but nothing truly spectacular in this part of the trip. So the main focus of today's video is going to be about Dawson City itself, and it's really an interesting place. So I hope you enjoy. We'll see you on the back end. Bye. Dawson City, Yukon, history lesson. All right, I am standing right now on the banks of the Yukon River, and Dawson City was, uh, is located at the confluence of the Yukon and the Klondike Rivers, and right up here around this bend, the Klondike River comes down and connects with the Yukon, and the two of them come together here. If you look closely, you can actually see a coloration line here where the Klondike River is kind of a darker color and the Yukon is more of a lighter muddy color. I don't know if you can see that in this video or not. Anyway, Dawson City was founded on the confluence of these two rivers. What's important about Dawson City is that in 1894, I think it was 1894 or 1896, gold was discovered here. And you've heard the saying, there's gold in them thar hills. Well, them thar hills is all those hills right over there because the first gold strike was found on a tributary a creek that was feeding the klondike river and it was called bonanza creek that was the first claim and the first strike here so all up throughout there all of these streams and creeks that were feeding the klondike river that's where all the gold claims were so there's gold and them thar hills so that's dawson city another thing i'll just let you know about is what i'm walking on here is actually a dike that was built it is you know this nice little path looking out over the river but the yukon and klondike used to flood dawson city all the time so they built this really tall dike here to keep it from flooding it was a bit of a controversy uh when they did that because some, some residents thought it was an eyesore uh, but you know they've actually done a nice job now you know the natural uh, greenery has grown in here it's a nice little walking path and uh, I personally think it's kind of cool how about you all right um, a couple other things about Dawson City uh, gambling Gertie's or, or Gertie's gambling hall I can't remember what it's called they're closed COVID doesn't happen it's a casino they have can can dancers three shows a night nope I think they're opening next week but I'm gonna miss them and this guy's gonna zoom right by me here what's up dude 
That's the second one of those that's passed me here. Um, and uh, Klondike Case is supposed to be this really cool restaurant. They're digging up the road in front of her restaurant, so that's closed. I uh, did talk to the owner of the um, hotel, and he said the Westminster Hotel is where people go for happy hour. Maybe I'll go over there for a beer. And then he said if I like ve uh, vegetarian food, the Triple J Hotel has a good option there. So that's kind of what's going on in Dawson City tonight. Take care.